So every once in a while, you get a company reach out to you and say, hey, hey, do you want to try this? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I do. I do want to try this. Brahm, Brahm, B-R-A-U-M-M, -M, reached out to me and said, hey, we're just releasing a, it's right here, Brahm Wi-Fi smart door and window alarm sensor. Works with Alexa and Google Assistant. Would you like to try it? So I said, sure. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. I'm all over it. I like, I like home security stuff. You like home security stuff because we're all about keeping our home secure. This, this is it. This little box right here. This is, voila. That's it. Voila. In this small little box, what do you get? Well, let's take a look. Let's set it up. See how it functions. All right, guys. So here you go. So 39 bucks, 39.99 American available on on the Amazons. So what is this? So security at home even when you're away. I like I like that. With your Brom app, you'll never miss an alarm thanks to push notification systems whether you're on the other side of the house or on the other side of the world. Excellent. Fast easy setup. That's we all like fast easy setups. I do. You'll be up and running in minutes. Install it on your window, door, or whatever else you want to monitor with durable double-sided tape. So I think, because I have a doorbell camera, something like that, that I'm hoping to get shortly, that's gonna go in the front door. So I think what I'll do is we'll put this on the patio, the sliding door to, to see. We'll see how fast this actually hooks up. That's, that's a big part of it. Compatible with Alexa and Google Home. Excellent, I've got both, we can try those. So not HomeKit, so not with Siri, so not on the Apple side, that's okay. Pair our Brom either with Alexa or Google Home and enjoy knowing the status of your door sensors without needing to use your phone. Very cool. And limited, limited lifetime warranty. Join millions of satisfied customers with our limited lifetime warranty. That's a picture of it right there. Kind of go through these little photos. Sensor management, awesome. Hey Alexa, is the window open? Cool. So I guess she's just gonna give you, it's, it's a sensor, right? It's not like unlock the door. It's not gonna have that kind of ability. That's not what it does, it, is it? So let's say I'm upstairs in bed and I'm like, oh, I totally forgot if I close the patio door. Is the door open? Yes or no, that could, that could be valid. Unobtrusive design, nice. And manually switch between built-in two-tone alarm. Also very cool. There it is again. All right, so here it is. Here's the little box. It's tiny, right? So if I put that in my hand, that's it. That's the box. There's not much to it. There's the little QR codes, which is gonna be useful when you're trying to get the app, which is what we'll do. Uh, specifications, Wi-Fi sensor alarm, has a SKU, power supply, so two AAA batteries at less than 150 milliamp for operating current. Uh, wireless frequency to be aware 2.4 gigahertz so you got to make sure that your network has a 2.4 gigahertz that's available and functioning because if you only have a 5 gigahertz going this can't connect to it we see a lot of the smart products smart home things that are using the 2.4 someone had told me that the 2.4 i think is a bigger range and that's kind of why they use it i don't know definitely not as fast but we don't really need speed for doing that anyways be aware 2.4 gigahertz, make sure your network is set up for it. Yes? Cool. That's all you need to know. What's in this? Well, let's 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 crack it open. Let's crack it open. So nice simple. What is in this here box? So we get a bunch of little knick-knacky stuff. Cool. Whole bunch of stuff. We get for installation videos, please visit here. I tore it. That was me, all me. A little tear there, got excited. Control, oh and it shows you how to use with your Amazon Alexa or Google Home, so that's kind of important. Wi-Fi control door alarm, this is your, these are really small, okay that unfolds. So that is your manual, there it is, manual. So nice and simple, I will go through this. Now the bonus is, look how small this is. So that's hopefully an indicator of how easy this is gonna be to set up. Yeah, yeah, then we get, We'll move that over because I don't need to see it. We get a little kind of sticky guy. So there's our two two sided sticky. Then we have oh these are screws and wall anchors. This I'm guessing is something I don't know. Oh this must be the actual door sensor is my guess. That's the door so 
we can put it on the door and as it closes or opens it realizes that's not there right yeah sure and then last but not least we have the door sensor with the little alarm so there you go brahm that's it what does it say what does it say uh package includes etc etc does it come with batteries that's the question aha yes so that's excellent batteries are here very good because i'm like uh be sad if it didn't come with batteries triple a's two of them be aware so product design led indicator shows you a sound mode okay so on here this is your sound mode on the side not not this side this side so you leave a little volume ringer guy so do you want it popping out not popping right alarm chime so you got an alarm and a chime which do you want then you have on this side you have your security mode so you have a home mode which is this side with a little picture of a house which the door sensor will be armed immediately and then away mode the door sensor will be armed in five seconds so home mode away mode okay and buttons enter four digit password to disarm default password default password one two three four shows you how to reset the password excellent how to do a factory reset and i'm guessing this is hopefully how to actually do it so setup in the app tap this select the device press the number but what it doesn't seem to tell you maybe i'm hoping that is how this whole piece works you know that's what i'm doesn't really show you how this goes on is it here nope doesn't show any of that all right guys well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go downstairs set this up see if i can get it to pair and then we'll come back and i will explain to you how it worked how simple and or fast it was and uh if i think it's worth having yeah i'm gonna go do that and uh i'll be right back all right, my friends, so we are back. I've got it hooked up downstairs. Hopefully I brought my phone up, I did, good. Few things to kind of be aware of. Here's a few things to be aware of. Number one, that little piece and the big piece. Little piece, big piece. First off, when I was unboxing this and I didn't really even notice it, one of the things, you'll see a little screenshot here, there was a little, it was a little sticker. I thought it was just a little extra piece of cardboard. But that little piece is a sticker for the sensor. So don't throw that out don't throw it out because you need it because that's what's going to stick the sensor to the actual door the other thing that's important to realize is on the side of both of those pieces there's a little tiny arrow they're not big at all a little tiny arrow and those are needed to help make sure that you align those two pieces so the actual door sensor and the sensor itself the door sensor reader I don't know what it's called the computer part of it whatever are aligned if not the sensor is going to go off and and it's going to it's going to be that also really quite important another thing to realize if you're playing with the sensor once you have it hooked up don't really play around with it when you're holding it in your hands because it is ridiculously loud so the sound that comes out of it i was not expecting that at all and it was it's loud like really loud which is great but don't be like, hmm, I wonder what this does. Da, da, da. Yeah. And the batteries. I showed you that it came with the AAA batteries, which was great. But just realize there is a pull tab inside there that you can, I think you can see in the little, when I showed the batteries, that little pull tab you have to pull out because if not, the batteries aren't actually functioning because they're not making contact. So you got to take that out as well. So that's, that's kind of important. Lastly, let's just show you the app, shall, shall we? I'll show you the app real quick right here. So setup was actually fairly straightforward with the Braun app and I did get it hooked up to my Google Home. So let's see if this actually worked. Hey Google, is the patio door open? Patio door is closed. Cool, right? So that, that's working, so that's good. So if we come in here and type Braun, so you guys can see it, not Braun, Brom. There it is, there's the app here. You will see in here, this is, this is basically the app. You guys can set this up yourself again it, it wasn't it's it actually is quite simple but I do have to say their manual is lacking a little bit just to for hardware wise like I didn't realize how you had to place them or what these pieces were so this is kind of stuff that they 
Probably should have put in the manual. Hopefully, if you're watching this, I help you, which is good. Um, you will see here that you can see the fact that it's showing the patio door. And if you come back here, this is the main one. So you could have different sensors if you so chose. There's a plus button at the very top right hand corner where you can kind of do that. You do have to set up an account. So just so you guys can see, if you do add one, this sensor here, you do have to click on security and sensors. So when you're in here, when you click on that security and sensors on the left and you scroll down, as you'll see an area that says sensors and it's the very first one here it says sensor Wi-Fi again their app looks a little different than their manual shows so just kind of be aware it's this sensor Wi-Fi that's the one that you're looking for that's the one you're kind of setting up for this device I don't know about their other ones once you have it set up though you can name it do whatever um, it does show you in the top left hand corner the battery so you can see your battery up kind of top here you can see it right now that it's in kind of sleeping mode which is great you can go in and check your settings so what kind of things maybe you want it to do I don't want it to tell me about low power I don't want it to tell me about whatever there's a whole bunch inside here that you can play with in the very very top there's the edit which allows you to say like change name of the door how you want to share it sharing it can be really important for those of us that have another person so like my wife she can have an account with Brahm as well, and I can share this device to her account. Um, we'll probably just get her to log in as me. That's probably just as, just as well. And nice and simple here, this is just telling you that we're all good. At the very bottom, super simple. All we have is arm and disarm. So I could tap this and it'll arm it. Tap it back here and it disarms it. Even when it's disarmed, it's not going to make the loud noise when it's disarmed, of course, if the door opens and closes, but you will get notifications on your phone. And if you have something like an Apple Watch, for instance, uh, you'll get notifications here. So if I pull down, if I pull down here on my phone, you'll actually see Brahm door closed, patio door closed. If I tap on there, that was me playing with it, right? Door closed, door open, closed, open, closed, open exactly when it happened so that's me fiddling around doing doing what I do right but it showed up here and for those again that have an Apple watch uh, if you come in here yeah you can see it here playing too right door closed right plus 23 more there's all those opening and closed so you'll get a little vibration on your watch so that's cool yeah it's not it's good it's it does its job that I was gonna show you guys or let you hear how loud it was, but the rest of the family's sleeping and uh, I have a real feeling that it would just wake up everybody. It's loud. Now, if you're a really big house, you'll hear it. It's not gonna be deafening loud, but if you're in the room, oh yeah, you're gonna notice it. And even if I'm upstairs here, I sleep upstairs, I'll, I'll hear the patio door if it goes open at night for sure. All right, my friends, that's it. I'm gonna leave you there. I'll put a link to the Amazon site and to Brahm's site if you're interested. And uh, that'll be it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, my friends.